Before we begin, we need to make sure you understand the meaning of some words that we will be using during our presentation. Volume. Volume is the space that a gas takes up. Pressure. Because we are showing gases in such small amounts in our demonstration, you can think of pressure as the number of times that the gases hit the walls of the container they are in. So more hits means bigger pressure. Temperature. This is the temperature of the gas. Boyle's gas law. Boyle's gas law says in the simplest terms that the pressure of a gas will go up as the volume, or the space that that gas takes up, goes down. As you can see in our video, as the piston in the tube is pushed down, the gases, which are represented by red balls, hit the wall of the tube more often. Charles Gas Law Charles Gas Law simply says that when the temperature of a gas goes up, so will its volume. In this video, the fire represents the temperature of the gas, and the blue ball represents the container that that gas is inside of. When we heat up the gas, the container gets bigger, and when we lower the temperature, the container gets smaller. Combined Gas Law The Combined Gas Law is basically just Boyle's and Charles' laws all thrown into one. What this law says is that temperature and pressure and volume are all connected. In this first movie, we are demonstrating how when the temperature is always the same, but the volume is made bigger, then the pressure will go down. Now in this video, the volume is being kept the same, but the temperature is increased. As the temperature increases, the gases begin to move faster and hit the walls of the container more often. Thus, as the temperature goes up, so does the pressure. Now the final law that we will talk to you about today is the ideal gas law. What this law says is that the number of gas molecules, what we've up until now been representing as little red balls, is related to the volume of the gas the pressure of the gas, the temperature of the gas, as well as another value called the universal gas constant. So look around your classroom for a moment and try to imagine the millions and millions of gas molecules floating around the classroom. What this law says is that you can find the exact number of those molecules if you know the volume of your classroom, you know the pressure of the air in your classroom, and you know the temperature of your classroom. To find the volume of your classroom is not very hard. You can simply use a ruler. The temperature isn't all that hard either, since all you need for that is a thermometer. Now the one thing you may not automatically know how to get would be the pressure of your classroom. This can easily be found using an instrument like a barometer. But wait, what about that thing I mentioned earlier, the universal gas constant? Well all that is, is the number 8.31, and it never changes. Well we hope you enjoyed listening to our presentation. And if you learn something as well, then that's great. Hey, Avogadro, won't you give me a mole? I need just enough gas to fill a cubicle hole. It's got 22.4 liters inside, but with temperature and pressure, you gotta be my guide, Avogadro. You got that number.